Hey guys, what's going on? Paul here. Welcome back to another Cardano video. So today the ERC20 converter has been released on the Cardano testnet. So what I'll be able to do in this video is show you a test transaction on that, taking some AGIX, which is the first token on it, that is Singularity Net. I'll show you how to convert that from Ethereum over to Cardano. I'll show you how easy the process is. This is on testnet, so you need test tokens. I'll also show you the faucets where you will be able to get some test AGIX and some test Ethereum if you want to try out the process for yourself. This is a great step to get to because bridges are going to be so important when we do have DeFi really booming on top of Cardano to help bring in liquidity and volume from other chains as well. So I haven't done a live stream in a good while either. So I'll probably do one tomorrow. I'll put out some notifications on social media and that early on on what time I'm going to do. So if you have any questions on anything that's been going on lately, I will answer as many as I can. As well, don't forget to share this out. Let people know what is going on here that we do now have the ERC20 converter nearly at the mainnet stage. Give the video a like and let me know your own thoughts down below. And of course, if you aren't subscribed, please do hit that notification subscribe and the notification bell. Let's get into it. Okay, just before we get into the demo of the ERC20 converter, when I done my demo yesterday of the Sunday Swap Dex, I only realized after I posted it that I actually cut out the bit of the video that showed you how to change from mainnet to testnet on NAMI and also how to add collateral into your wallet. So when you come in here to NAMI, when you go into the bot here, Go down to settings and make sure that the network you're on is the testnet because with SundaySwap or with the ERC20 converter, you want to be on the testnet. And the other thing as well is in here, you see collateral. So you need to add collateral. It's five ADA or five test ADA here. You just put that in and that allows you then to interact with smart contracts. So if you're getting errors on the demo, then you might just need to check that you have the collateral added as well. So now that that's out of the way, the ERC20 converter, I'll put a link to this article down below by IOG, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to go straight into a demo showing how it all works and what it's doing. So far, the first token on it is the Singularity Net AGIX token. So when you come over here, you can see Singularity Net. So what you need is MetaMask here and you also need a Cardano wallet. What you will need in MetaMask is you need some tokens that you want to swap. So what I've done is I've went over to the AGIX faucet here and I've got some tokens so you can log in with a GitHub account and make sure when you do log in that before you process the transaction, you change from the Ropsten over to the Coven network here. This is the test networks on Ethereum. So when you log in here, you will then have the option to put in your ERC20 address. I can't do it because I've already done it today and it's every 24 hours you can get 10 of them. So then you will also need some test Ethereum to pay the transaction fees. So I found this site here, ethdrop.dev. You can come over here. It's one for the Coven network as well. Put in your Ethereum address and click get ETH and it will send you 0 point, I think 001 of an Ethereum and then you are ready to go. So over here on the dashboard here. I'll put all them links down below as well for anyone who wants to get in and try this out themselves. So to get started, go up to connect wallet. Then you have to connect up your MetaMask wallet first because you're sending the funds from Ethereum through MetaMask. You're sending it over to Cardano. So we go connect here, gives the pop-up for MetaMask over here. So what I want to do is I don't want to connect that wallet. I want to connect this video one here that I set up for this here. So I click on next. It says that they'll be able to view the addresses and everything like that. This is all standard for anyone who's used to MetaMask. Click connect and then you'll see it's connected here. It reads that I have five AGIX left in this wallet here. And it says click here to configure your Cardano address. So I click up there. And what I need to do then is put in the test address of my Cardano wallet. So just because I have NAMI handy here, I will use this one. And you can see actually the Singularity Net, there's two tokens there that I done earlier on when I was trying this out myself. So click on receive, I'm going to copy this address here. I then come over here again and I paste in that test address here. Click on save. 
And then what it comes up with the MetaMask notification as well. Do I want to say basically say this address belongs to me? So I click on sign and then you can see this is connected here now as well. So I can close that off. Next step is to actually do the transaction then. So I click on select here for Singularity Net and I presume when there's other tokens here, you'll be able to select on any of the other ones as well. IOG actually do mention that in the article, probably worth pointing that out, that any other projects, I probably won't be able to find it now. Yeah, so what's next? Any other projects that want to get involved here to be able to move their tokens across, they just need to get in contact and there is details there on how you can do that. So click on Singularity Net. So you can see I'm going from Ethereum over to Cardano. Now this does this does work the other way as well. You could go from Cardano back into Ethereum. It is going to be a bridge, so it will work both ways. But I think the majority of people are going to be going one way for now anyway. So let's send three, three AGIX tokens here. I'm going to send them to Cardano. It's picked up the wallet because I've already added it in. I click on convert, it brings up MetaMask here. So the usual, what you get here tells you the transaction fee. We wish Ethereum transaction fees were like that, but this is the test net, that's why it's so low. Click on confirm here. Unfortunately, when people are moving their AGIX, so that's working in the background, but unfortunately when people are moving their tokens from Ethereum to Cardano, you will have to pay one final gas fee as well, because when you are moving from Ethereum, you still have to submit a transaction on the Ethereum blockchain to move the tokens. But then once you do get over to Cardano, you will only have the Cardano fees, then you won't have the Ethereum gas. So you can see here, it's coming up just asking for confirmation. So what I do is come down here and it's giving me the estimated gas and everything like that. Click on confirm, and then it should process the transaction there. So let's just give it a minute and see I'm getting the notifications they are popping up on another screen. So I can see your transaction is in progress to check the conversion status, view the transaction history. So for this wallet here, you can see this is the first transaction. I did have the two AGIX on another wallet, but I wanted a clean wallet from scratch here. So this is processing. This is the origin and then the destination. You will see if I refresh, just needs another minute to process here. And what you'll see then is the destination address will come up and I will be able to check this on the blockchain as well. Okay, so you can see here now it's actually popped up. Three AGIX tokens have been locked on Ethereum and they're already submitted to the Cardano network. So I should receive them in my Cardano wallet very soon. So if I come in here, actually, if you click into this one here, it shows the Ethereum transaction on Etherscan. So I'll show you that. You can see it there. And then if I click into destination, this one should give me, yeah, this one gives me the Cardano testnet. This is the explorer for Cardano. When you come down here as well, you can see that's my address ending in 5VU and there's three AGIX tokens have been sent over. Let's see if they've hit yet. If I look at NAMI here, might take a minute to go through. I can see there's two confirmations there. And actually you can see there is five AGIX tokens now in the wallet. So that's how simple the transaction is going to be, how simple it will be to convert for a start your AGIX tokens. Hopefully we will see lots more tokens there as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing stable coins as well, being able to buy them on other networks, bring them into Cardano for liquidity, especially when we get money markets and everything over on Cardano as well. I hope this video has been useful. Please do share it out if you got some value. Really do appreciate that. Let people know what's going on. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well and I'll talk to you soon.